What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, today we are doing the review of my Stage 4 Twin Disc Next Gretty Clutch that I just installed paired with the Next Gretty upgraded throwout bearing on my 2016 Mustang GT. Now, this review, um, I'm going to keep it as honest as possible um, and I'm going to be as um, straightforward and blunt as possible. No biased uh, judgments here or anything like that. This is my first time swapping out a clutch. I must say, you know, doing the job wasn't hard. The difficulty level, if you have the right tools, um, let's go off of what American Muscle be doing with like the wrenches or whatever. Um, the difficulty level for this install, I would say... If you have all the tools, probably like a three out of ten wrenches. Honestly, it's not hard um, as long as you have the right tools. But I feel like that's with anything, um, any installation or anything like that that you're doing on a car. If you have the right tools, it should go smoothly. Now, as far as the clutch itself, you know, I was reading the reviews, um, both the good and the negative reviews on American Muscle, and a lot of people were saying, um, you know, that the clutch had a lot of clutch chatter. Now, what that is, is, you know, literally, it'll sound like it's, you know, ticking or chattering. It comes from the clutch, you'll hear it in your transmission tunnel, um, and you can actually hear it outside of the car. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. I do not like any extra noises out of my cars i don't know if you guys are the same way but i hate unnecessary noises if it didn't sound like that stock from factory um i hate it bro it, it just it just kicks in the ptsd from all of the hoopties that i had bro i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all and i feel like something's broke um it honestly sounds like what mamba sounded like um, when the transmission had went out and I really don't like it, you know what I'm saying? It's been doing it from day one of the install um, And you know, like I said, I read the reviews and they said that it's common You know, everybody says that they have the same issue now So that's something to look out for something to keep note with you know what I'm saying when going with this clutch there is Clutch chatter and it's very very loud and it's very annoying um, it's not like consistent. It's not constant like it won't just keep going every time you cut the car on um, It happens like I want to say every revolution of the crankshaft um, That's when it'll happen. That's when it'll start chopping uh, Chattering because you'll see the idle drop down a little bit start to fluctuate um, And then it'll start chattering and you can hear it from inside the cabin and outside of the vehicle and that just doesn't like, that's not cool to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I really don't like that. Especially, like, when you pull it to a car meet, you know what I mean? It's like having squeaky brake pads. You know what I'm saying? You need to replace your brake pads. Or you got the big upgraded brake rotors um, and the upgraded, you know, Brembo joints that, you know, squeak when they're cold. That's different. But, like, when you... Even then, you know what I'm saying? Even then, when you apply on the brake and it's squeaking, everybody's looking at you when you pull into the meet. Your car is looking good. It's looking clean. You feel me? You know you lit. And then you press on the brake and... You know what I'm saying? Everybody in their mama looking like, damn, bro. Like, all that bread you spent on that car, you can't even get you some good brakes, dog? You can't even swap out your brakes, dog? You know what I'm saying? I hate that. So, with that being said, the clutch tratter, I really do not like it, man. And that's probably going to be my biggest pet peeve about this clutch. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk all bad about this clutch because it's actually pretty good. I love the clutch response. The clutch response is great. You know what I'm saying? After I deleted the um, clutch spring, I can actually feel where the clutch, you know, is going to let off at. The, uh, the grabbing point is definitely known a lot better now, you know what I'm saying, without that spring. Um, and I know that doesn't really have to do with the clutch, but that twin disc definitely does help make the shift smoother. So I will say that I really do like the clutch as far as the clutch feel goes, but that clutch chatter is definitely one of my bigger pet peeves with this clutch. I can't cap. If you can hear, that's those cheap pads that I had just put on the car. Um, after 
I forget what I had did. Oh, after I lowered the car, if you guys didn't see that video, make sure you guys go tap in. I lowered the car and when I was putting the passenger side caliper back on the rotor, it actually ended up chipping my brake pad, which caused them to squeak. So I went ahead and put on some generic Ford joints. And since they're cold, whenever they get cold, they squeak. And it's, again, I hate extra noises, like I just told y'all. So that's pretty much what that noise was. But as far as driving the car um, with the new clutch, I must say, bro, the clutch definitely does feel good, man. Um, one of the things that I saw as far as positive feedback in the comments of the clutch was that the grabbing point is very very good like you know the clutch really does grab and engage well and i can definitely vouch for that um now i don't know if this is just something with next gretty as far as the clutch chatter goes i'm sorry y'all i'm gonna keep going back to that there's me at first um I forget it was like a little bit louder the noise was a little bit louder when I first installed the flywheel because when you get the stage um, the stage 4 twin disc it comes with the aluminum flywheel if I'm not mistaken and so with that being said I can't even cap the aluminum flywheel definitely had a lot of like you know chatter to it and that that was upsetting um, just keeping it a buck with y'all that was very upsetting because like I say man I don't like extra noises so if you are like me and you hate extra sounds and unnecessary rattles or whatever then think twice before buying this clutch and that's pretty much all I can say on that part like just make sure you do your research now I was told that the McLeod um rst or rxt hold on y'all let me fix this uh white balance because autofocus is not doing that good of a job i'm too black for All this right, y'all so like i was saying that's a little better um i heard that the mcleod rst rxt um clutches are i think it's the rxt that's the best and the rst like blows up in people's cars so like um the best advice that i can give you guys is just bro when you're buying your clutch do your research bro do your research like extent like to the deepest extent of research that you can do bro because one the clutch is one of the key components that makes your car move you know what i'm saying so you don't want to cheap out on that and two dude it's all about drivability like again it's one of the key points that makes your car move so do you want to go cheap on a part that's gonna make your car move like that's like going cheap on a cam setup or going cheap on a blower setup you know what i'm saying on your motor then down the line the motor blows now you're stuck you go cheap on your clutch down the line the clutch blows now you're stuck you know what i'm saying and you're back at square one where you were before having a you know try to go get a new clutch and try to to fix the issue so with all that being said man i will give this clutch the next grady stage 4 twin disc clutch a solid five minutes later. a solid seven out of ten ten being the best and zero being the worst i'll give it a solid seven out of ten because it does grab well um and when it's not chattering like right now you know what i'm saying sitting at idle cruising i'm um, not cruising but sitting at idle bro it's not chattering at all um the clutch actually does do its job man i can't cap it's very smooth the shifts are very smooth it really feels like butter and i really do like um the throw on the clutch you know what i'm saying because like when you're going with a stage four clutch a bigger clutch or whatever you can expect to have um a heavier clutch feel you know what i'm saying uh which you know that's why everybody says oh you know it's leg day or whatever whenever you're driving a manual they would be like oh your left calf is stronger than your right calf why because you're steady you know pushing on the clutch engaging the clutch with that being said i feel like even though this is a stage four this clutch is not as aggressive it's not as heavy as these other clutches that you know people have been giving reviews on um so i would say you know if i had to do it again would i get this clutch um i'm gonna say yes just because one it comes with a warranty uh it's a 20,000 mile or one year warranty whatever comes first and also it also comes with the flywheel assembly you know what i'm saying the mcleod does not um if i'm not mistaken one of them does and the other doesn't you know what i'm saying there's two options so 
I went with this one because this is the only clutch that actually has a warranty if something does happen. MT82, knock on shifter, you dig what I'm saying? But if something does happen, the clutch is covered. So that was one of the bigger things for me just to make sure that I can have that peace of mind at the back of my head that if something was to go wrong, like with that clutch chatter when it was doing that like crazy, I really did think something was wrong. Um, but I wasn't too worried because I know I got that warranty. All I got to do is call up American Muscle, say, hey, look, this is the number on my warranty card. Can y'all go ahead and send me out a new clutch? And they'll do that. So that's another thing to keep in mind, bro. Make sure that the clutch has some kind of warranty on it. That way, you never know. You might get it in the mail. Um, and the people who are shipping it, like FedEx, I know for from experience, FedEx deadass just throws the boxes in the truck. So if your clutch is damaged or anything like that through shipping and then you throw it in the car and you find out that it has issues or you can't engage the clutch if you got that warranty you're straight if you don't got that warranty bro you're going to be going back and forth with the shipping company and the manufacturer and at the end of the day you're going to probably end up having to buy a new clutch out of pocket so i would keep that in mind bro do not forget about that warranty if you can get a warranty on a car part bro do it because at the end of the day it will save you in the long run now with all that being said man like i said i will give this clutch a 7 out of 10 it is a nice clutch it does engage really well at high accelerations if you guys didn't see that video uh hard pulls uh reaction with my boy versatile speed make sure you guys go tap in i'll link it to the end of this video but like i say that's gonna wrap up today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and drop a comment in the comment section down below while i'm making this video right now i currently have 3,000, let me go straight to it, let me go straight to it, I have 3,992 followers on Instagram as of right now, if you haven't already, make sure you go J.I. Productions underscore and smash that subscribe button, hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will be at 4K, but if I'm not, go over there and hit that follow button not the subscribe button hit the follow button on my ig tap in get your boy to 4k and then come back over here and hit that subscribe button and get your boy to 3k you dig what i'm saying but without further ado that's actually gonna wrap up today's video like i said man y'all take care and i will see y'all in the next one which will be tomorrow 1 30 p.m central time make sure you tune in turn on those post notifications i'll see y'all later all right, y'all, so I'm back at the crib right now. I just wiped down the stain, but take a listen. So that's what I was talking about earlier about the clutch chatter. You can hear it outside of the car, and it really does suck. I can't even cap. But I just finished wiping down the stain because it rained earlier. I'm about to go ahead and back it in the garage. But look at how good it looks, bro. Literally a mirror. You feel me? Literally. Oh my goodness. I really love this black car. Like the black on this car is just nasty. With the blue flake. Oh. You just can't beat it, bro. It's literally a mirror. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get this thing paint corrected. Sheesh.